The dynamic in Denmark is that if you are a female athlete, you're a handball player. If you're a male athlete, you're a soccer player. We actually created handball, so I think that's why like everybody goes to play handball in Denmark, because that's what we're known for. I mean, we have a tennis player, uh, Karolina Washinaki. She's really good. I played tennis when I was younger, so like naturally she was like a role model for me. Denmark never qualifies for, for anything in basketball, really. Like it's a super, super small sport in Denmark. We had one game left against Sweden and we knew that we were gonna like, if we won, we'll go to the Euro Cup and if we lost, that was it. So a lot of nerves we came out of the gate really bad. I think we were down by six most of the game. And then suddenly like everything started to click and like we went on a run and then overtime and like honestly all I was thinking about was just like surviving. It's a really, really tough game uh, and the like intensity in that game was so hard. So when we finally like won the game and like everything was over, like I was just ready to like collapse right there on the floor. But amazing experience and like sometimes like I go back and like watch it just because like it's just a, it was a really nice feeling. People don't really understand it back home. They're like, really? Like, how? Like, we qualified. Like, I don't know what to say, but it's really rare. And like, we're getting a lot of media like coming down here actually to like, to showcase what this is. And I think everybody's gonna love it. Most people don't even know what 3x3 is. Like being down here just helps boost the attention, which we need if we want to like go further with, uh, with our national team. In a whole calendar year, there is one game that is being shown on national team week back home. So like actually having like these games on TV is like, it's a big deal. Like we're blowing it up on social media. Like, oh, everybody come watch this because if we get a lot of views, maybe they will start like covering more of it. Like they will get their eyes open for like, hey, women's basketball. Maybe we should cover some more of it because it actually like pulls people attention. I mean, I can't stress enough how big a deal it is for us to be here, not just for us as individuals or for us as a team, but like for the whole basketball society in Denmark, to be honest. Being on the stage and like, pew, all my hairs just like started like rising and I was getting like goosebumps. Like, ah, we have to stop like, <laughs> uh, just because it's such a big experience. Like we never, none of us has ever experienced this kind of like stage before with our like Denmark standing in on cross of our chest and like, uh, we've been battling to get into just a qualifier for for normal basketball or what you want to call it. Um, but here, like you, pro you suddenly have like opportunities to go like to the Olympics, to like Euro Cup, where we're at right now. Um, and coming from Denmark, you never ever thought that Olympics would even be an option for you if you're a basketball player. It's been a dream and all of that, but it's always been so distant that I didn't even like really think much about it. I mean, we played big games in college and all that, and like in our professional clubs, but like this is different. Like it says Denmark on your chest, like you represent your country, you're doing it for Denmark. Like it's, it's different, it's a big deal.